This would be hilarious. They could do it via a TikTok style. What Harry and Meghan don't realize is that absolutely everyone makes predictions or suggestions on what characteristics an unborn baby may have. In mixed race families, it is a very normal discussion and not racist at all. It's natural unless, of course, you're um who has to constantly remind us she is a woman of color. I am pretty sure that no one cares whether Archie or Lilibet are white, black, brown, yellow, green or speckled. No one cares about Harry's book either. With the publication of Prince Harry's much-anticipated official memoir drawing closer, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams suggested the identity of the alleged royal racist could be revealed in the new book. In their shocking 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle suggested they had faced a series of uncomfortable conversations about the skin color of their son, Archie. While the identity of the royal family member involved in the conversations has never been confirmed, the anticipated publication of Prince Harry's tell-all biography could pose a new opportunity for the royal who supposedly made the comments to be named. Everyone their cat knows it was George about seven years old at the time. Harry was babbling at Sky News cameras after telling the RF that the bike was knocked up. Merkel wasn't there. He said, all the kids were very excited. Asking all sorts of questions. The innocent question then became a racist weapon in the mind of Smagel. That racist bomb has well and truly missed out as a dud as rational people have concluded that everyone thinks or says which parents attributes will the baby has especially when one is ginger. Mr. Fitzwilliams said Prince Harry has previously declined to identify the accused royal, but added the Duke and Duchess were notoriously unpredictable. Speaking on GB News, Mr. Fitzwilliams discussed the upcoming release of Prince Harry's memoir, which is expected to be published in the autumn. Well Mr. Big Bollywallocks, just do it because whomever it is make sure you tell the truth and it was a comment not conversations neither of you could back each other up but you know what I was asked about my nephew and do you know he has the most glorious ginger curls that fall down a beautifully formed face in fact he is just perfect and furthermore. We all still speak to the person who raised the question because CWE have no chips, no side and no blame shame in our family. We are not perfect but do you know what we are so much better than you so much happier than you and X walk our walks with heads held high. We support each other. We look out for each other. The one thing we never do is take each other down. We have dignity we are the people you and that wife of yours have insulted so go hang your head do your worst because I would back anyone against you pair how shameful a 96 year old widow has to cope with this vileness if it was my auntie I would give you no peace no lazy and no forgiveness end of. I think most people were wondering about what the baby would look like as far as skin color and hair. Nothing racist about that. Those two Markles must grow up. Poor Harry is totally wiped by that narcissistic woman. Mr. Fitzwilliams said, he's said that he won't name the alleged royal racist. I'm assuming that, in this case, the Sussexes mean what they say, but they are unpredictable. During their famed interview with Oprah Winfrey, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex claimed an unidentified member of the royal family had expressed concerns over the race of their first child together. Meghan said there had been concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. When pushed to name the royal member involved, Prince Harry said, that conversation, I'm never going to share. He added, at the time it was awkward, I was a bit shocked. Mr. Fitzwilliam speculated that Meghan would hold significant influence over the contents of any upcoming publication. The royal commentator said, I think he would be most unlikely to write a book which he hadn't approved. The memoir, which doesn't yet have an official release date, had been anticipated for release in late 2022, according to publisher Penguin Random House.
Mr. Fitzwilliams added, the book might not come out, it might be postponed, which would be the kind thing in the Queen's Platinum Jubilee year. After the disturbing allegations of racism emerged, Buckingham Palace released an official statement from the Queen. It read, the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Speaking of his upcoming book, Prince Harry said, I'm excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. To be honest, I am already bored with Harry and his memoirs, it's a book I will certainly not waste my money on. Oprah Winfrey, which I did not watch, but heard enough about, was apparently lie after lie. The racial comment, really probably was an off-the-cuff remark, color eyes, etc. I certainly will not believe that any of the RF are racist. I have read Tom Burr's book because he tells the truth, believe me, Harry and especially Meghan should have a long hard look at the way they have behaved towards the Queen and all the RF, they are an absolute disgrace. Hopefully, they will stay in America. Leave the RF in peace. Most of the comments and statements that come from the Sussex are complete lies, twisted truths, and spiteful, classless, bitter attacks. They could state that Trump made the comment and no one would believe them. They are the authors, plotters, and manipulators of their own truth, that as records show are based on moving quicksand they are nothing sinking in. Harry can reveal whatever he wants. Pondering the potential color of a baby from a mixed relationship is curiosity, not racism. It's well past time for every remark about color to be interpreted as racist. That term is used ad nauseum in the U.S. because it stops the conversation cold and puts everyone on tenterhooks. These two should have apologized, humbled themselves and moved on a year ago. Apparently, it's easier to keep lying, threatening and slandering than face the truth. Shocking. Could have all been over and done and dusted but nope, stiff necks like Megs always get the hand of God. Leave him to it. Whoever asked the question about skin color is merely asking a valid question without malice. I am sure many people would ask a similar question. If Hasbeen and his odious wife are depending on that question to sell a book they are surely wasting their time, T is old harmless news, time to grow up, stop behaving like you are in any way special and get on with the life you have chosen, hopefully not in the UK. Nothing, wholly truthful, comes from Harry's mouth. The more he talks, the more evidence there are some serious mental and emotional issues with him. Poor Harry needs professional mental help. Not the kind he professes to give at his pretends mental help group. Every family discusses what the baby will look like. What color eyes, hair, skin, just because there is a parental. Mix does not make it racist. Unless, of course, you are a woke persona that searches for anything to be offended by. It is time for sane people to step up to these wokes and shut them. I don't think they are unpredictable. I think they are totally predictable. We know what they're going to say, to do. We know when the bottom lips start to tremble, the eyes will be moist with crocodile tears. Victims poor me, the usual harkle rubbish from the pair of them. His mummy died you know. I think Harriet would like to label William as the racist, but Maggot, of course, will be insistent on labeling Catherine as her deep-rooted jealousy of the Duchess of Cambridge is openly known by now. They can't even agree on who to tar the R brush with, during the interview, and claimed the conversation occurred when pregnant. When H came on later he claimed it was before they became officially engaged. Either one of them was lying or there was another message in there.